Ryan um, stiffness. Okay. Because um, I can't really get anything unless he's supple. Yeah. I can't get bend or anything yeah. unless he's supple. Um, so mainly stiffness. Just write a nice easy circle. Let me see what we get. Yeah. How is he this afternoon compared to this morning? Is he he's his brain? He's still in a mood. Is he? You got most of the knot out of his brain though. Not as bad a mood. But okay. That weight's on the inside. There. Yep. And that's all you need right there. You don't need to go any more than that. That little bit of shift was enough. Now circle the other way. Nice job changing your rain length. Well, that's interesting. He's bending, he's bending better on your bad side than he is on your good side. Give another a little bit more bend. This is my, this is my good side. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's, he, he looks he looks like he was bending more on the other side. Okay. There. Now go the other way. Now do a turn on the forehand. Just pick up his nose. Drop your leg back. See if you can keep his front end in place and just turn his back end. Bring his nose over. Okay, and then right him forward. Make now just stop, turn around, go the other way. There. Good. Now just keep his feet moving and just do a sharp hair, hairpin turn. Just make a sharp turn. Go the other way. Good, now do it the other direction. Okay, that's not too bad. How does that feel compared to him, his normal? It's not too bad. He's normally quite bendy and he normally gives a lot better. He's a little bit heavy in the head at the moment. Um, when I got on him, he felt really stiff. Yeah. He, he was really, really stiff. Did you check, did you have a chance to check his back? His back seems to around my hand. Yeah, he was fine. Seemed fine. Okay. I brushed and everything as well, pressed quite hard, yeah. that was fine. Yeah, okay. Because when I got on him, he really felt stiff today too. Yeah. Just, and I don't know if it's because his body is stiff or he just has a knot in his head. Okay, just got a knot in his brain that we need to untie. Yeah. Um, go down the fence and just do a nice easy rollback and a walk. Just nice easy to walk. Because all you're doing with a rollback is what you just did. Yeah. Just think about just doing that hairpin turn and it doesn't have to be a perfect rollback. I'm just actually more looking to see how he bends through his neck and his body when he stops and goes the other way. <laughs> Didn't look bad. That doesn't look too bad. That really doesn't look, how's that feel? A lot better than what it was before. Yeah, now just make a circle. A little tighter. When you get back to the fence, when you get next to the fence, go back and roll back into the fence right after you finish your circle. Right in there someplace. Stop and roll back. Forward, forward, forward. Okay, make another circle. And do the same thing when you get to the fence, stop him and rolling back. If you gotta back him up a step or two, that's fine. There. Now just stop him. Okay. That didn't look too bad. Okay, that didn't look too bad. How did it feel? How did it feel? I think a big, big thing is working at this speed. Okay, when he starts getting a knot in his brain, we got to kind of slow him down a little bit to untie it. Okay, um, and you're relaxed. 
He's more relaxed. Go ahead and release him completely right there, though. There. Yep. Turn that, turn that power off. Okay? Good. That looks pretty good. Okay, that didn't look bad. Um, a little bit of shift. You, you're, you shifted a little bit, that last rollback to the outside at the end. You kind of lost it a little bit. But I was more watching his bend. And I was actually more watching his attitude than anything. Um, and he's a lot different now than he was this morning. And it was the same. When I wrote him, he still was not one to go with the program. Okay? Yeah. Not bad. Okay?